And when it comes to travel, we tend to move as a pack, usually with family or friends. Particularly me, I travel with like a million of my family. But as our next guest found, travelling alone gives you an entirely different experience. Christelle McIntosh joins me. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Christelle is actually, uh, I see Christelle every day because she is one of the hair and makeup artists here who makes me look like this every day. <laughs> this is not how I walk in, just quietly. So it's really nice to have you on the sofa in front of the screens. Different being on the side. Well, because your trip sounded absolutely amazing. Uh, so you've just returned from three weeks in the US. So what made you go by yourself? I was ready for an adventure. Um, and at the time I decided this has to happen. Uh, none of my friends were able to come. And I had the little back and forth moment of going, I don't want to do it alone, but if I don't do it now, it will not happen. So I just braved it, spontaneously booked and... And you did and, it. And I did it. And you did this in a matter of weeks, <laughs> actually. So let's check out your trip then. So first stop, San Francisco. What were your highlights? Oh, San Fran was amazing. Um, the can... Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> there we go. So I, I just loved wandering around and I grabbed a bike and decided to go across the, the bridge. And just the, the cruising along, getting there. There you are. <laughs> there I am. But it was just so nice to soak it all up, see all the big, overpriced, beautiful houses, people picnicking and all the all the little picnics and having a good time. So it just felt like this is a cool city. And then I got to the other side of the bridge, went up the hill and it was just a beautiful, beautiful view of the whole city. Yeah. So um, that was a good highlight. Ended up at my first baseball game, got to see the 4th of July fireworks for the first time and met lots of locals. Yeah, so how did you actually do that? How did you connect with the locals? Um, before I left, I put it out there. Um, I'm going somewhere I've never been before. And so lots of friends helped me out there with connecting me with people. But with the locals that I randomly met, I just forced myself to be really smiley and chatty. Yeah. And um, I just, I just made myself talk to anyone that would talk to me. And, and that's, can... that's a great thing, isn't it? It takes you like a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. It pushes you a little bit further. I found myself a few times naturally wanting to withdraw, closing off the conversation. I would like give myself a silent slap and, and continue on. And, and then I just felt very grateful that I, from that, was kind of making friends rather than just having a little And chat. did you make some friends that you think you're going to keep for life when you were there? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's really good. How do you think you got a bit of a different travel experience? Say if you went with your friends, how was this different? Um, hugely different. I think with travelling with people, with your friends, you tend to do everything with them. So you make plans together, you're having fun together, you're, all, you're chatting together. You don't really put yourself in any situations where you talk to other people. So yeah. being by myself, I pushed myself to be more open in conversations. And I felt that once people got talking, heard my story, I'm a Kiwi, they love the accents, they want to talk to us even more, um, they were just starting to offer great advice. And before I know it, um, they're showing me their favorite lunch spot and we're beach hopping to different places that I wouldn't be able to get to as a tourist. And then I'm at some beautiful location watching the most amazing sunset. Yeah, because you can't happen. So you're getting all the tourist. insider intel, aren't you? Yeah. You're getting all the insider stuff which they're not going to show, you, normal tourists aren't going to see. And people are happy to take you on, take you under their wing because you're alone. If you've got your friends, well, they're fine. You know, they're not going to yeah. really help you out as much. So, so what about the safety aspects? Because you went and stayed at Venice Beach for a while. Did you feel safe there? It's like a really crowded place. I loved Venice Beach. People did warn me. They kind of said, oh, maybe Venice isn't the, the best place. But for me, it was amazing great people watching through the day everyone like you've got all the tourists that are just having a great time and all the locals want to keep their reputation as good and safe so there was no trouble and you see there is a lot of homeless unfortunately but they all kind of stick to themselves right. and and they're out of harm's way so there was never any moment I felt unsafe so you never felt unsafe that's good now tell me about New York this looked amazing and how on earth did you get an invitation to something that we see on movies and telly a rooftop <laughs> party <laughs> Uh, that was that was lucky. So again, that was by me reaching out and my friends, a few of my friends um, connected me with their friend over there who welcomed me into his home, could sleep on the couch and oh, I have this party that I'm organising, would you people. like to come? So that was a really good experience for me. So I turned up alone and I was still feeling quite shy, you know, you push yourself but yeah. um, there I was just sitting in the corner, people watching, I'd have lots of little chats with people randomly. Um, I would never do that in New Zealand, go to a party by myself but when you're travelling, you just make yourself, yeah. and it was awesome. So, okay, if we have to have anything to take away from this, apart from your amazing travel and pictures, what would be your one top tip when you're travelling alone? One top tip? There's a few. <laughs> um, reach out. Reach out and have conversations with everyone. 
um, don't, you know, don't shut off. Don't, don't Reach be out and have the most awesome time. Well, your photos looked absolutely incredible. I was following you on Instagram and also on Facebook as well. Hey, thank you for sharing them with us. You're welcome. Great advice too. Some awesome inspiration. And you can check out some of Christelle's travel pics on her Instagram page.